Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a battle of the peach palettes. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of explanation behind this video, because it does seem a bit random coming from someone who doesn't really go for like neutral or like pinky, peachy kind of palettes that often. But ever since I got this palette from Too Faced, this is the Sweet Peach palette. I love this palette. Honestly, like... <sighs> It's such a great palette. I've actually even hit pan in this shade right down here, Luscious. I could do a whole video on this palette, and I'm actually going to. I want to do a palette resurrection where I do three looks with this one palette, so that'll be coming in a couple of weeks. But ever since I've gotten this palette, it has always struck me that this isn't actually like a peach as in the color peach palette. There's like two or three shades in here that are actually kind of peach, and in reality, they're like mainly pink. Um, so ever since this, I've been interested in like an actual peach palette and there really aren't that many out there the only one that i was aware of and that i really wanted was from kylie and i didn't buy it right away i actually waited until the palette was on sale i don't remember what the exact price was but i'll try to look it up and throw it on the screen but i didn't pay full price for this palette and this is the peach extended palette so it is a larger palette like this it does have a mirror on the back it's got some nice packaging and then it has all of these shades half of which i would say maybe a little bit more than half are really peach or peach leaning and then we've got a few neutral shades right after like literally right after i got this palette in the mail ColourPop released their own version of their peach palette in their nine pan packaging and the monochromatic packaging this is the baby got peach palette so of course i also picked this one up these all retail for 12 dollars, and they have nine shades including this kind of glitter shade that like no one really likes so what I wanted to do is put these two palettes head to head and actually compare them and see if the $12 ColourPop palette is better or as good as the Kylie palette. So I have three looks for you along with swatches. I did one look with the Kylie palette, one look with the ColourPop palette, and then the look I'm wearing today I filmed. It's a combination of both of the palettes. I definitely, after testing these out, have a preference for one over the other. But before we get into that, I want to show you both palettes in action along with swatches swatches of both palettes. So let's go ahead and run into those three looks, swatches, and I'll give you my final thoughts.
too much and Van Gogh might take a while But thank you for coming and thank you for trying to do anything to make me smile All right, so those are all of the looks and the swatches. For me, the main difference between these two palettes are the undertones. And that really pushes me like above and beyond with one palette versus the other. The ColourPop palette, uh, the shades are very nice. I'm not a huge fan of the glitter because you really can't use it like anywhere near your eye. I used it as like an inner corner highlight, but I keep it like as far away from my eye as possible. And I also brought it just a little bit up on my brow bone, but I'm really not getting a lot of use out of that shade. But on top of that, the undertone of each one of these shades is pink. This is a very pink leaning peach palette pink leading peach palette pink leaning peach palette say that 10 times fast but this is a very pink leaning palette and i realized that what i'm looking for in a peach palette is more of an orange toned peach not a pink toned peach so that's why this one takes a back seat to the kylie palette i actually like 
love this palette <laughs> this is such a great palette all of the shades are very solid i love the shimmers i love the mattes and like i said before all of the peach shades are orange leaning they all have orange undertones which i think looks really really pretty on the eye all the shimmers are really nice the only thing i wish is i wish we would have gotten like a nice bright peach shimmer in here maybe something along the lines of like one of these mattes in a shimmer but I still think you got a nice variety here. It's split almost half and half matte and shimmer. You've got like a gold down here, you've got some neutral shades, but then you've got mainly like peach toned, orange toned shades. This is basically exactly what I was looking for from a peach palette. I don't, honestly, okay, so I'm gonna say I don't think this is worth the full price. I think these Kylie palettes are very overpriced, but when I got it on sale, I think I got it for sale at around $25, $26, which that would be worth it for me, considering the amount of shades you're getting, the amount of product you're getting, the packaging, and the mirror. So those are my thoughts on my random, in-depth, like, peach experiment that I've been doing behind the scenes here, as well as my just continued love for this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Uh, let me know down below if you still have the Too Faced palette and you want to see that palette resurrection. I haven't filmed it yet, but I really do want to come out with my next palette resurrection on that palette, which will include two or three looks. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.